What's up, everybody? Snooze and stuff. Back again, talking about a uh, portion of Snooze today. Talking about uh, Snooze, yep. Same old shit, really. Talking about Snooze. Not gonna be talking about Swedish Matt shit today. Not gonna be talking about V2 shit today. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about another Scroof. Or Scroof. I'm gonna be talking about another one of those. This is a uh, Scroof Melon White. This is a Scroof, one of Scroof's white portions. I think this is Scroof's only white portion. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. But yeah, it's a scoof portion, white portion. As you can tell, it's a one dot, so it's a uh, it's a very mild uh, snooze. Very, very mild snooze. Um, you know, same old typical uh, scoof can. It's got the you know lid and everything. And I uh, bought this stuff uh, back in the summertime on Snooze Central and. Uh, I haven't used it yet, and I needed to because, uh, as you can tell, the expiration is 12-12. Uh, so she's she's on her way out. So I figured I might as well go through it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the snooze. And then, as always, they are quite uh, not really cold anymore, but they're kind of stuck together. I'm gonna try to fluff them out a little bit. But yeah, that's your portions. Pretty decent, just a normal scoop uh, portion, really. Uh, it is a white portion, the moisture is fairly low, uh, although it is still pretty moist. I do like uh, scoop portions, they're nice and you know, full, well built portions, very fluffy, very fluffer, fluffy tins, very nice, nicey, nicey tins. Oh. So let's talk about the smell and the taste. Now, if you've seen my other uh, video I've done on the the, the Scroof uh, original portion, uh, it smells about the same. I mean, this is just a regular old uh, you know Scroof shit. So it smells like rose oil, very citrusy bergamot, tobacco, and that's pretty much it. Although lately. Ever since I got into this can, I've, I've, I've sort of found another scent and another flavor about this stuff. I smell Fruit Loops. Every time I throw one of these or smell one of these, I, uh, I Fruit Loops, man. If you've ever had Fruit Loops, next time you smell or taste or, you know, have a screw, think about it. Mm, fruit Loops smells just like fucking Fruit Loops. Ah, Fruit Loop Snooze. Love it. But anyway, that's pretty much, you know, it, really. And it tastes about the same, like Fruit Loops. And it's a it's a white portion, you know, and it's real mild. You know, it, uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, I keep one of these in for about an hour, really. That's about it. Maybe. I've already done two of these suckers today, and uh, I've already yeah, done two of them, and I just put the other one in, and I put my first one in like about an hour ago, so, you know, as far as flavor and stuff, it don't last too long, but it's still very nice stuff, very good stuff, yeah, like I said, I got this on Snoo Central, you can't get it on Northerner, Northerner doesn't carry this stuff, I don't think they ever will. They might have at one time, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I know you guys in the in the EU, you know, over in Europe. I've heard uh, Trick Track, I believe, mentioned this. He said something about uh, you guys can't get screw for. Uh, there's some places over there that you can't buy this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a damn shame because you know screw makes some nice stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm positive you can get it over in Sweden. Uh, uh, I guess that's where it's made. Uh, yeah, made in Sweden. Der. Of course it is. Yeah, made by the company Skrufsnus AB. They make Knox and they're associated with the uh, Rizla rolling papers and shit like that. Uh, now, as far as the nicotine content for this stuff, uh, they're kind of fuzzy about it. 
Like I've looked around online and even Snoo Central's website uh, doesn't say anything about nicotine content. All that they say is that uh, blah 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 blah. Well, according to Scroof's website, Scroof.se, it says uh, Melon White Portion, a snooze which offers a genuine snooze experience with a lower nicotine content. That's all they're telling you is that it's lower. I don't know if this is an 8. I don't know if it's a 6. I don't even know if it's below a 6. It might be. It might, it might be below an 8. I don't know. If someone knows for sure... Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but if somebody knows for sure, let me know, because I'd be interested to know. But yeah. But yeah, you know. Rose oil, bergamot, mild tobacco, just like they mentioned on the website. Uh, it says that it's a very moist snooze. Uh, the snooze moisture is very high, which eliminates the need for hydration and offers blah, 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 blah. This is a white portion. You know, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, snooze indicator, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so let's talk about the price, right? So, I got it on snoozecentral.com. $4.44 is what this is right now. I don't know what I paid for it at the time. It was probably about the same. Uh, prices on other websites, they might fluctuate, you know, plus or minus 20 cents, probably minus 20 cents, but. You know, you can might get it a little bit cheaper elsewhere. You know, screws really nice stuff, but it is a bit pricey. Um, I mean, it's nice, but unless I'm getting, you know, screw loose news, uh, it's not worth it to me. I would never buy screw portions just because, you know, it's just not worth it to me. Uh, I don't know how many grams this is. 22 grams. Yeah, 22 grams for $4.44, you know. You know, you can get 20 more grams for, you know, the same price probably of loose news. So, but it is good stuff. There ain't no doubt about that, except it just doesn't really agree with my with my wallet, you know what I mean? But it's all right stuff. Definitely recommend giving it a shot, you know. It's not much different than your original portion. It's uh it's just a white portion of the original is pretty much all it is most most people can understand that um, and yeah it's pretty cool you know when I first bought this stuff I saw it Milan right here Milan uh, I'm not Milan Milan that's a that's a translation thing for you guys somebody tell me what that means Milan Milan I know I could just go to Google Translator and figure it out myself but community interaction <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah, Milan. Uh, when I first saw that, I thought that was melon. Like this is like melon flavored. I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Because as you know, uh, Jacobson's melon is fucking awesome. If I could get that shit, I would. I got a can sitting in the fridge, and I'm just not opening, just because. Uh, but yes, Milan. I thought that meant melon. <laughs> but yeah, somebody somebody translate that for me. And as I said before about these screw cans, how the top part right here is printed on, that's not a sticker, and that's cool. I mean, these are, I mean, it's, all it is is just a little plastic can, but they're pretty good quality, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's really all I got to say about this stuff, man, you know. It's good. If you like screw stuff and you want a white portion, this is the way to go. But anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. You know, blah, 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 blah. Hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving and whatever. Um, if you live outside the States, I don't know if you maybe have something similar to Thanksgiving. I don't know. I know Thanksgiving's an American-type holiday, you know. But, yeah, I hope everybody eats a lot of bird, you know. I know I'm going to try to. Uh, <clears throat> if I don't do a video before December 1st, um, I'm going to have a pretty good video planned for the first week of December, so... Stay tuned for that. You know, pretty good one, pretty fitting type video. But anyway, guys, as usual, just keep snoozing and doing your thing. You know, stay out of trouble. Uh, you know, do your homework, uh, pay your bills, you know, all that shit. So anyway, bye-bye.